Here's a mixer where we have two mono matrix mixers or a stereo one if you wish. But let's imagine that we have two mono ones called A and B. You have a lobby outside the main room where you want to pipe your main music out. You also have a green room or maybe a cry room in a church where the mums and babies listen to the sermon. You could then connect the matrix outs on the back of the mixer and feed both of those rooms and then decide what you want to feed them. In the case of a lobby and cry room, you could just send it the main mix. I mean, you could do some pretty cool things here with maybe a talkback mic plugged into a spare channel that doesn't even get applied to the main mix, but goes through to a subgroup whose only function is to be fed out a matrix send to your lobby. I mean, you could do things like, you know, make announcements to people in your lobby while not even coming out of the main speakers. There, uh, there, there are many ways to root signals in a typical mixer. Just, you know, put your thinking cap on and if you have a specific need, nine times out of ten, you, a special application can normally be fixed with an AUX send or a matrix. So I guess that's pretty much what's happening in a typical mixer from the front panel. Let's look at the rear panel. I say rear panel, but a lot of mixers have the, these connections actually up on top of the mixer. In any case, many of these jacks on this panel are made up of the inputs, and they're typically you'll have the couple that are set up right here, a balanced XLR mic input that will be fed from our, a stage box, uh, a line input that can also come from the same. Now, if it's gonna be a massive long run from the stage, then make sure that it's a balanced line, either in an XLR like this guy here, or, you can use quarter inch cables as long, long as they have the tip ring and sleeve that's a balance line here if you connect a hundred foot quarter inch cable like this guy that is unbalanced then you're just inviting a bunch of interference and buzz down that line so remember that uh, quarter inch connector that is balanced has to have two signals and a ground with that extra line right here they, they call them trs or tip ring sleeve it's just a tip sleeve um, uh, sorry, tip ring sleeve there, that's balanced. If it's just a tip sleeve like this, tip and sleeve, then it's unbalanced. Actually, speaking of, uh, of TRS or tip ring sleeve, this uh, connector here is an insert point. It takes a special cable like this guy here that takes a tip ring sleeve on one end and two unbalanced quarter inches on the other end. This cable is a special one because it does this. You connect the TRS side, the one with the three connectors right there, place that inside that insert and it interrupts the signal just like if you'd kind of hacked into this channel and allows you to insert something between these guys right here. A classic example would be something like this, like a compressor or a noise gate. You plug the input right here, the output right there, and then this guy has now been inserted on that channel. It's just like you just placed it right in the middle right there. Now, by the way, I'm not sure which is which in terms of this, but um, you, you just experiment one way or the other. So that's now in line with that channel. So here's the deal. If I pull this out here, if you just place an insert channel in here and without these connected here, it would actually just kill the signal because there's nothing in between here. So you take a connector like this and that, and then that would actually complete the, uh, the, the connection. I'm not saying you should do that. This is kind of useless. This is the same as if this was out, but it kind of gives you an idea that if you have an insert cable and there's absolutely nothing connected to this side, if you plug something into it, bang, it'll just, it's like cutting this channel in half because the connection has not been made right there. Insert something like a compressor or a gate across there and you'll complete that connection and uh, you can add compression to that particular channel. Now, I won't, uh, we won't go through specific compression examples right now. We'll do that a little bit later on in the mixing section.